Hello and welcome to the Random Bros. In the past few months, we've built the CNC plasma table to be able to cut some more complex parts. Our machine can cut 80 cm long and 65 cm wide. As far as the Z-axis goes, we've installed a motor and a probe in order to be able to keep the same distance from the tip to the workpiece. And now let's just hit pause. As you can see, we've welded a frame the same dimensions as the piece we're cutting. This frame clamps to the table to keep the piece down. I am constantly standing above it and pushing the sheet down. And on top of all, we are using a water pan and spraying water constantly. Cutting big drawings using 1 and 1.5mm thick sheets lead to a lot of warpage and the torch keeps colliding with the parts. I've tried maxing out the speeds and lowering down the amps, but we still have the same problem. So, the quest for a TH soon began. But when we built the machine, we decided to go with the r, &R motion controller since we had good results with it in the past and it was easy to use. Unfortunately though, most THCs on the market are not compatible with the r, &R controller. After a lot digging around, I discovered this, the AQtronic JetCut THC. The AQtronic JetCut THC supports the r, &R card, so I went ahead and bought it. It can connect with two setups, the SD and the UDO. SD stands for Step, Direction and UDO stands for Up, Down, OK. In our case, we used the SD configuration. So, to simplify it, you have your step and direction going from the board to the driver. Then, you put the THC in between them. That's the whole idea. Here you can take a look at the actual connection, which took me about 10 minutes to do. When you turn it on, you get a fast AQtronic logo and then by pressing the knob in the middle, you go into the menu. You can change a lot of things here like the delay, high and low voltage limits and how responsive the THC is. When you hit the escape button, you see these three lines. That is where we put the desirable voltage which controls the height of the torch while cutting. In my case, it's 112 volts. Before I go, I bought this for the reasons mentioned above. While installing it, I needed some clarifications. So, I contacted the company selling them and their response was awesome. They reached me over the phone to make sure I was able to figure out everything. If you end up buying this, or even if you have any question about compatibility issues, send them an email, they'll respond. And that's it for the day. If you got any questions, you can contact me in the links below. Have a nice day from the Random Bros. Thanks for watching.